Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today we will discuss RFIs in contractor mode. RMS request for information module, RFI, makes it easy for the contractor to ask for clarifications on the contract specifications or ask for additional guidance from the government or core. The RFI module keeps track of all questions, responses, and any possible attached documentation. Please note that the next RFI number created is automatically generated in RMS. Today we will discuss reviewing RFI status, creating an RFI, and reviewing government responses. Now let's get started. Once logged into RMS and a contract of interest has been opened, navigate to the administration menu and select the requested information menu option. When the module is entered, all previous RFIs for the selected contract will be displayed. The blue sorting tiles at the top will filter each RFI based on their status. You may click on any of these at any time for more detailed lists. The columns will display certain information about each RFI, such as the date requested, the RFI number, the title or subject of the RFI, the day it was received, the day it was answered, and whether or not the core or ACO has approved the RFI. You may utilize the add, edit, or delete functions at any time. When an RFI is selected, the information on the bottom of the screen will change to reflect content-specific information. Click Add to create a new RFI. The Government Response tab is a view-only tab for the contractor and the Contractor RFI tab is where the contractor enters actual RFI request information. Here we may select or enter the date requested by clicking in the field and entering the calendar date. The required date is the date that the contractor will need a response from the government. If the RFI is not answered by the required date, there may be impacts to the contractor. You may also select the date from the calendar button option. Enter the requester's name and the required date. We may link this specific RFI to a subcontractor by flagging the option. Click on the box to select from a list of subcontractors. Select the appropriate subcontractor and click OK. If the RFI is considered a potential cost impact or potential schedule impact, click on the checkboxes accordingly. Enter the RFI subject. Now you may enter any specific sections as well as any drawings and details. Click the Not Set box to select from a list of features of work. Select one and click OK. The Information Requested Memo field is where the contractor provides complete, clear details of the actual RFI requested information. If no information is entered and the requested date has not been entered, the completed Ready for Government option may not be selected. Contractor's Recommendation Memo field is used to document to the government the recommended solution. A draft of the RFI report can be viewed by clicking this button. The final form and documentation will be generated by the government once the government answers the RFI. Complete a document package for this RFI and submit using the Document Package Manager. At a minimum, this should include any additional attachments to the RFI to demonstrate your request, such as markup drawings, certificates, photos, etc. Check with your local USACE representative if any other pieces of documentation are needed per that local's office policy. Click the Add button. Click the Add button once more, then select the file from your file system. Since this document has been manually signed, we will click the Manually Signed option and Submit for Review. Now we will click the Back button to save. The last step is to check the completed Ready for Government option at the top. Once the RFI is marked complete, the contractor may not undo this action. Click Yes. Click the Back button once more to return to the RFI menu. The RFI can no longer be edited by the contractor as it awaits government response. The government will enter the date received when they have acknowledged the receipt of the RFI in RMS. The government will then proceed to review the RFI. As the government completes the review, the date answered and approval status will be populated. If we open the RFI once more, the government response can be viewed on the Government Response tab. Depending on your local USACE representative's policies, a PDF of the finalized RFI can typically be downloaded from this screen. Check with your local USACE representative if you are unsure. In summary, we went over where to locate the RFI module, how to add an RFI, reviewing an RFI status, and how to review a government response. As a reminder, if no information is entered in the requested memo field and the requested date has not been entered, the completed Ready for Government option may not be selected. Once the RFI has been submitted, the RFI may no longer be edited or deleted by the contractor. If you experience any technical difficulties while attempting any of these steps to complete an RFI, please contact the RMS Support Help Desk by submitting a support ticket or by calling the Help Desk phone. Links to our contact information will be provided in the description of this video. We hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.